Hi everyone. In today's DIY projects, we are crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For the first project, we're going to be using these mixing spoons from the Dollar Tree. And I'm using four packs for this project. And we're going to be making a wall decoration. I'm using my shears. And we're going to put the handles aside. We'll use those for the next project. I'm going to show you how to make two projects from these spoons. So for the first project, I'm just lining up the spoons together. And then I'll attach them with my hot glue. Now I made two from the four packs. I'm just using my alcohol to clean them and then I'll spray paint them. For my spray paint, I'm using my Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold. To hang our wall decoration, I'm using double-sided tape. And I'm just placing the tapes on the highest points. And here's how this project turned out guys i hope you like this one let's make a mirrored wall decoration i'm going to be using this pizza pan from the dollar tree and i'll use my same spray paint and i'll spray paint the edges i'm also using a 12 inch mirror from amazon i'm placing the mirror on top of a piece of cardboard and i'm just tracing out the mirror then i'll use my scissors to cut it out and glue the mirror on top of the cardboard and this will elevate the mirror when I place it in the pizza pan. And I'm using my strong adhesive along with my hot glue for this project. Now I'll add more glue and I'll place my mirror inside of the pizza pan. Now I'll go ahead and attach my spoons. And this will be the bottom area of the mirror. So I'm placing my first two spoons right there. Just try to line them up. Then I'm placing my second spoon. And I'm just trying to hug the curve in the first spoon. And that will give me an even pattern going all the way around. Please, I'm asking you to give me a thumbs up on the video if you haven't done so already. It helps to support my channel. And another way that you can support my channel is by leaving me a comment. It doesn't have to be an entire sentence. Just one word is good enough. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. On each side, I'll be using eight spoons. Pack comes with four spoons. Two of them are a little bit slender than the other two. So for the thinner spoon, I'm placing those at the top. I allowed my design to dry for about an hour and then I flipped it over and I'm reinforcing it with more of my E6000.
to hang our wall decoration i added a piece of leather but i ended up removing it and i'm just going to use a picture frame hook and i'll use my strong adhesive to attach that allow it to dry for 24 hours and in the meantime, I'm adding some pearls to the end of the spoons. And here's how this project turned out guys, hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our next project. For this project we're going to be using the handles of the spoon and we're making a wall sconce. I'm lining up the longer handles in the center and I'm just staggering them until I like the way they look. To attach these spoon handles together, I'm going to cut a piece of my chopping mat. And I'll just place the first handle in the center of the mat and attach it with my hot glue. Make sure it's straight. So now continue to attach the rest. Just make sure that they're close together. Now I'll cut off the excess and we only have 16 handles so I'm going to be using four pieces of balloon sticks on the side to complete our design. So I'll just glue one on top of the other on each side. For this wall sconce, I'm also using a rectangular charger for the base. So I'll just add my glue and place my design on the center of the charger. To hook my wall sconce on the wall, I'm going to be using a picture frame hook and I'm using my E6000 to attach that hook. Now I'll take my wall sconce outside and I'll spray paint the entire thing white and I'm using my Rust-Oleum 2X Gloss White. For the light, I'm going to be using this rechargeable light and it also comes with a remote and a magnetic strip. So you'll glue the magnetic strip inside of the charger and the back of the light has magnets. So to recharge the light is very easy, just pull it out and recharge it. 
And here's how this project turned out guys, hope you like this one. For the next project, I'm going to be using the balloon sticks, the top of the balloon sticks. I'm also using a small foam ball. And for this project, I'm making a small um, decorative object. I'm placing the sticks inside of the top and I'm cutting off about half an inch. And the half an inch will be going into the foam ball. So I'm doing the center first and then I'll do the two sides. So the center took six and each side took four. To reinforce them, I'm using my hot glue. Now I'll take my design outside and spray paint it white and I'm also going to be adding some rhinestones in the center. And here's how this project turned out guys. And here it is in gold. Now let's move on to our next project. For this project, we're going to be making a table lamp and I'm using this plastic dish from the Dollar Tree and this jar. I'm just removing the label and I'm using my alcohol to clean off the excess glue. And then I'm going to attach both of them together with my strong adhesive. And I'm placing my adhesive on the inner side of the base so it can flow on the inside. Now I'm trying to line up that seam with the seam on the bottle and this plastic dish is a perfect match. It lines up with all the grooves on the bottle. I wait until it was tacky before I clean the excess off with my alcohol. Then I took it outside and I spray painted it with my black um, matte spray paint. Now to hide the cover, I'm going to be using a piece of my leather strip and I spray painted it gold. And I'm just using my hot glue for this area. I'm cutting off the excess so it can sit flat on my surface and for the base I'm going to be using a 5 inch mirror from the Dollar Tree and the perfect item to use here is one of these wooden rounds from the Dollar Tree but I didn't have any on hand so I'm just going to use a piece of felt to cover up the mirror. If you're going to use the mirror um, go ahead and use a piece of cardboard on the base before you add the felt just to hold the felt in place now I'll attach both of them together with my strong adhesive and for my light I'm going to be using the rechargeable RGB light Here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Let me know which of these projects were your favorite this week and if you'll be recreating any of them. If you missed last week's video, here it is on the screen. Just click that rectangular box to watch. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.